Hey guys, Jim again here. I just wanted to make a quick little update video on what's going on. Uh, this is my very crowded shop slash garage. Uh, I just tried making another video and I tried showing you guys my face and, and talking to the camera, but on the iPhone 6, I guess I can't flip the camera back around. So maybe you guys can tell me how to fix that. But uh, I did want to start off by thanking you guys for subscribing. I, I do have three subscribers now and uh, that's pretty cool. I'm glad you guys are enjoying my content and uh, thanks for subscribing. Um, but I, I just want to show you around the garage. So first, I guess we'll start with my uh, fiberglass box. In a previous video, I really was complaining about it and it wasn't very strong. After a whole bunch of more layers, it is definitely more strong. Um, I wish I had a better way of filming or showing you, but I just have my iPhone because uh, I'm not a YouTuber. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, definitely much better. I'm very happy with it. It's not cleaned up yet. I still have to try to peel off some more of the tape. I got the wood frame off that was all around it. Um, it, it really came out nice. It's it's nice and sealed. I yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The the weirdest thing that what I'm not happy with is that totally something I screwed up on, I guess. Uh, so this is like a nice clear coat, and there's these random little nails in here, and there's like some weird little fucking candy colored shit there. Um, I found there was a couple other, where is it? There was one or two other of these little nails. Now, if you told me you would give me a million dollars if I gave you just one of these little nails, I'd say, sorry, go to Home Depot because I don't have any. Yet somehow, this box got three of them. Uh, I think the last piece of fiberglass, or uh, I used matting. So the last piece of fiberglass matting that I put in here before the last layer of the fiberglass fabric had these things in there somehow stuck to it. And I didn't see it when I dropped it in because uh, I don't own the, yeah, there's actually the other one right there. I think there's one more somewhere in here, but anyways. Totally ridiculous. I don't know where the fuck it came from. It sucks because I'm going to have to probably cut it out and refill it because I'm going to be having battery modules in here and I can't risk having a piece of metal in there. Yeah. So anyway, um, onto the battery box or the battery. Uh, so this is a battery I mentioned in a previous, previous video. I do have a folder going on. Uh, this is supposedly from a 2014 RAV4 EV. Uh, super rare, it came up and I just, I had to buy it. Uh, unfortunately, these things are, are not cheap, but super rare, glad I did. Uh, I was going to park the modules out. That was the plan. And then uh, that was gonna help pay for the onboard battery project that I have going on, but I'm kind of thinking now I'm just going to leave it all in one piece and make it a battery trailer, just a range extended trailer because I, I'm so close to having it done. I mean, I already have wire. There's some wire right here. I just ordered some more. It's special uh, EV cable. It handles more amperage than, uh, than, um, welding power cables and it's super flexible great stuff if you're interested just let me know i can get you a link um i, I and i also tracked down with the help of another rav4 owner the plug right here so i found the mail plug that goes in into that it was hard to track down but i got it so that's the main data connection for the bms and that uh he's working out. i don't i don't do can unfortunately i really just never got into it, don't really know what I'm trying to learn, but it just, it's like programming that I, I don't get. But, um, so he's working on that part for me and eventually, well hopefully soon, we're gonna be able to turn this battery on and I'll be able to use this just as if it was in the car and it'll be on the trailer and I can use it as a range extended trailer and pretty close to double my range in my RAV4. 
So I decided to keep it all in one and uh, as opposed to parting them out and yeah, I'll just use it and go from there because it's, it's just so close to being done. Uh, I mean, this battery box, I still have to buy the modules. Well, I have the modules and a stack over it, over there that I'll show you. But I still have to buy the actual batteries. So I, I found a couple good deals, but depending on the capacity, I'm either looking at about 5,000, 5,500 tested 2,000 milliamp cells all the way up to the LGs, which I found a great dealer on those. The LG MJ1 cells are 3,500 milliamp hour, and I can get those for about $3.80 each. And but it, it, I need what 3,700 of them about, and I forget what the total was, but something like 13, 14,000. Uh, so it's I'm still a little bit of ways for, from getting the onboard battery box done and in the car functioning, and this. It's all done. I mean, it's pretty much there. I just need a couple odds and ends, little connectors, and need to get it together. I already have a trailer I can just drop it onto. So I'm, I'm leaning more towards this, and then that way I could take some road trips this spring. Um, but while I have you, I thought I'd show you the, the battery modules that I've been stacking up over here. So these are all the... Um, 18650 cell, cell holders that I've been buying online. Uh, I've been buying just a few at a time because on eBay, if you if you look for these things at all, they usually go on sale and a seller will have them like, buy three, get the fourth for five or 10% off or something. So I've been buying a few at a time. So right there is exactly half of what I'm gonna need to get this battery project done. Um, I'm gonna have four modules in each layer and there's gonna be four four layers. Uh, so that's a pretty sizable stack and it's kind of scary thinking I have to spot weld all of these cells and hopefully have it all work. Uh, but that is definitely the, the long-term goal. And my little workbench, there's the spot welder. I have a previous video on that. Uh, my Safety gloves right down here. Definitely good to have if you're really going to get into something like this. I got those on eBay, uh, brand new. Definitely don't skimp on your life there. And some fiberglass stuff from getting all the stuff done. Um, yeah, but I moved the battery box over here uh, because I had pulled in my RAV4 here uh, to, to finish the last few layers of that of the uh, the fiberglass box. I, I didn't want it to flex or move. Uh, now it was solid enough that I did actually the last last two layers right inside here in the garage. But I still have to have the space heater because unfortunately, what is today? April, I don't even know what today is. April 18th-ish or something like that. And today was a, a freakishly hot day. I think we got up to 40 degrees. Yesterday, we actually almost touched 70, which is the warmest weather we've seen in like eight months. <laughs> I don't know, way too long. Uh, definitely super, super sick of the the cold and looking forward to spring, which it's still not on the forecast. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So uh, thank you to my new subscribers. Glad you uh, guys like what I am putting out there. Uh, yeah. Anybody else interested, they can shoot me any questions and uh, I'll try to answer and help you guys out. But it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just, uh, it's totally doable. It's just a little expensive, but it, anybody can do this. It's, it's really easy. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.